Hello Libra, this is Julie with your mid-month checkup. Have you been dealing with the nature man? Have you been looking into your soul, finding your balance and letting go of someone, some situation that you knew you were going to have to let go of some, sometime? And now shining in your own bright love and joy, accepting certain situations as they are so that you can grow in who you are. All right, so let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine. What added guidance do you have for my Libras for the remainder of December? All right, and remember, if you want a reading, find me on Facebook, email me, go to my website. Also find me on Instant Go. Okay, and the energy that's coming in from the beginning of December into the remainder is strength. Perfect. This totally goes with your reading for the overarching December. Go check that out. Uh, with strength popping up, you have to have the energy like Leo, the lion. All right? Persevere. Push through. Be strong. Be creative. At the same time, Look past your own limitations so that you can see the infinite nature within front of in front of you, within everyone around you. Okay. And then we have the hermit. Oh, two completely opposite cards. That's hilarious. Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Lovers, okay, and the Magician. All right, so at the same time, like the energy from the beginning of the month is persevere, push through, be creative, be loving, be the center of attention. And then it's like, at the same time while you're doing that, take care of yourself, stay in, hone you, know, hone you go home early. <laughs> so you know what, you're gonna have the two extremes happening during this month. You know, at one point you're gonna have to be really outgoing and at another turn you have to go within and stay in. So find that balance within yourself, find the Leo and the Virgo within you so that you can really um, take care of the details but also see the beauty, the overarching beauty of everything. We do have Ace of Wands, so you know what? There's a new relationship coming in with a with a possible fire sign, fire energy. So that's Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. Since the Leo card came up, I think that you're going to be connecting with, with a Leo. And they're coming in here to light passion, to light meaning, uh, to, to get you going again, get you revved up to remind you of like the hunch, the idea that you had, that you, of who you truly want to be. So this relationship is going to really ignite some passion within you. Then we have in um, work, we have the eight of wands. So you're going to have to take care of a lot of things at work. You just are, you know, after the, the, the first two weeks of December of like the breakdown and the shift. Now you have to put all the pieces back together. And so the Eight of Wands is like, you've got a lot of decisions to make really quickly. They're all coming at you at once and you're gonna have to take care of all of them. So you have to prioritize, you have to be efficient and figure out what is the most important to, to figure out first and then just knock them off one by one. You're gonna have really clear energy with the hermit popping up of um, you know making a list, getting things taken care of and just doing it one by one by one by one. Okay, don't let it get overwhelming. And then we have the lover's card and this is an abundance and so I really feel like a, a relationship, like a, a divine soul partner is here for you, Libra, is so like right with you. Um, and it's just making your heart, your, uh, your soul, everything around you feel so incredibly full. And so take that in, love it and nurture it too. Because with the magician popping up, I feel like you're going to want to in, in some ways kind of self-sabotage the situation 
You know, because you have all the tools, you have all the necessities, but the magician can turn dark sometimes and go into this like really manipulation. So make sure what you're doing is raising the vibration, raising the vibration of the relationship of you. Because they're coming in, like this Ace of Wands energy, this divine union is coming in. But I feel like you're trying to play some tricks because of, of not feeling like you're ready for this type of relationship. And you could feel overwhelmed because of having to take care of so many different things at work. But I'm sorry, they're in, they're here, deal with it. It is so beautiful, it is so lovely. Take care of that relationship, take care of that divine union. Because if you don't, then bye, 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 bye. All right, it doesn't, they're not gonna just stick around because you feel overwhelmed. In fact, they can help you with that overwhelming feeling. They can help you find your strength. They can sit next to you when you feel like being alone. So let them in. <clears throat> All right, let's call on the angel deck just uh, to bring it together. I also, before I pull on the angel deck, I want to point out all the major arcana, the lovers, the magician, the hermit, strength. So this is divine intervention. Do you remember how I was talking about that in the December reading? This is divine intervention. They Like, universe wants this to happen for you. So if they have to bring it in in a different way, they will. And usually it's not as pretty and it's not as comfortable. So right now, whatever is coming through and you feel like, oh my gosh, this is like deeper than just me, pay attention to that. Okay, Archangel Raphael, the healing angel is with you supporting your healing work. That's okay. That's perfect. Because Libras, you have a wound, you have something that you have been suturing up, and you're finally getting there. And so this Ace of Wands is that new beginning is that aha, you've you've made it, you've made it, you've taken you've taken the step strength to be who you are, and find it within yourself to carry through. Now that you are there, accept this relationship, it is divine. And if you feel like you can't heal, or if you feel like you will remain broken, malarkey, malarkey, Libra. Raphael is there to guide you. All right, if you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, go to my website, or find me on Instant Go. All right, and remember, listen to your heart, and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.